about that. I'm more of a rings guy. You just hold it out like that, do the iron cross. <laughs> no, you're not going to be seeing me on any rings or any high bar today. No thanks. But hey, I am with Maria Lawrence. She's one of the co-owners. Now, Maria, I came here when you first opened. The, the actual building cut right down here. It was all over there with your huge American flag over there. I love that. Then you eventually expanded. We came here for that, too. How has COVID-19 hurt you guys, and what are you doing about it? Because I know it's been tough. It has been really tough. Uh, we've lost a lot of our clients. Uh, um, the flip side of that is we have a lot of really extremely loyal clients that have been a huge blessing to us. Um, yeah. We're pivoting. We're trying to do other things to keep the kids in the gym. We are open. All gyms in Arizona are open. All the gymnastics gyms yes. are open. All yeah, that's an important gyms. thing. The gyms are closed, but the gymnastics right. gyms are open. Well, your facility is beautiful. I I like what you're doing here, Maria. This is a great idea. Tell everybody about your study camp. Well, again, we needed to pivot and try to figure out a way to make things work, so we created the study camp. This is not to take the place of the schools, but it is to assist parents who have to work, mm -hmm. parents with small children. So we have supervised uh, school time, and yeah. they, you can come for 10 hours a day, 7.30 to 5.30. You bring your own laptop, your own lunch, you plug in. We know your school calendar. You can see it on the desks, what their each individual student has to do for the day uh -huh. and we assist we don't do school work but we assist them if they need help we have lunch we have gymnastics so they get out and they're not in front of the the computer 10 hours a day tell me what planner tracking is because that's important for parents like you're kind of keeping track of what they're doing and letting the parents know about it as well aren't you we are so we have their schedule every district provided a schedule and we've downloaded those and those are in their little binders for each individual child we keep them on track with their schoolwork we make sure they know what they're doing how they're doing it, and then we give a progress report to the parents when they pick up. Very cool. Now, when I first came in, you took my temperature. I had to have some hand sanitizer. You're doing all kinds of cleaning to make sure this all works, aren't you? We are. Um, our gym is extremely clean. We clean between each gymnastics rotation, uh, and you can't come in without a mask. You have to have your temperature taken, hand sanitizer. We're social distancing. We have little spots out on the floor out there. Uh -huh. uh, we're doing what we can to keep it open so that kids can stay healthy and have fun doing gymnastics. It's tough to be in front of the computer 10 hours a day. I was just going to say, so they're sitting in front of the computer. I've got Aviana here. She's working it. I got Sarah over here and we've got Eric over here. Now they're going to do some work and then do you, do you break it down? So like for 20 minutes, they go run around and have some fun or how's it that work? It depends on what their school schedule is, whatever okay. their school schedule is. But yes, we do. We do provide gymnastics throughout the day. Some kids are on a 9 to 10, 10 to 11 school. But mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. We want to get them out in the gym. We want to get them running around, e exerting some energy, having some fun because it stinks not being with your friends and not being at school and not being able to get up and sharpen your pencil. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're trying to keep the kids active and healthy. The two things I think I like about this whole program is safety and structure, something that kids don't do on their own. So you're giving them safety and structure. They're, they're cool with it if you just explain it to them, right? Exactly. And, and it's supervised. They're not just here on their own. Some parents might be able to leave their teenagers home to do it on their own because they're mature. But for kids 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they need some structure. Yeah. You guys, they have full day half days you can go two days a week three days a week five days a week whatever you want to decide to have your kid so do the cool. study camp get a little exercise in and study yeah I think it's really cool and hey coming up in a little bit this Celeste if you got some kids around the house you're gonna keep them at home we're gonna teach you some exercises so we'll get them bouncing around your house oh, in good. between all their studies we'll teach you some of those coming up yeah okay I'm looking forward to that Tommy she makes a good point I mean our kids are learning online so then they have to you know they have to get off the screen it's so great. I mean, this is, they are, this is brilliant what they're doing at Impact Gymnastics because um, our kids usually come home from school and then play on video games with friends, but now, no. I'm sorry. School is kind of a video game. Right, Troy? <laughs> In it some is, ways, absolutely. you know, I shouldn't say it's a game, but yeah, you're right. It's it's just way more screen time, and it's too bad. But uh, 